You ready then? One, two, three. talking now, Bill, the itinerary of the monkeys on this tour. Do you have uh, a rundown of that for us? Yes, uh, they go, they'll be here this morning for about three hours, then they go on to Melbourne, then from Melbourne back to Sydney, from Sydney to Brisbane, Brisbane to Adelaide, Adelaide back to Sydney to do two more shows. Uh, incidentally, the tickets are going extremely well. That's good. Uh, Harry has a real packed house, and I'm sure he's as thrilled about this as we are at RCA. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jeffrey, the uh, master of description will now tell you all about the play. Well, I think, Barry, let's move forward a little bit. Uh, as you can see, everyone at home, this is the Qantas jet that's bringing the monkeys in. And in a moment, we'll probably have to stop talking because of the noise of these jets as it swings around. We'll stop now. Just listen. engines have quietened down as you can probably gather and it's peaceful relatively speaking there's hardly any cheering now everybody seems to have quietened off quite a bit they're all leaning over the barriers but the police are here on duty to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand but in actual fact it's been a very good crowd here this morning the youngsters have all behaved themselves remarkably well they've all been very cheerful especially when you consider that so many of them <laughs> have been here since last night or the early hours of this morning they should come off fairly early in the piece, I think, and they should come down here and go straight into the custom shed. They'll have to go through. Well, I, can't, I think it. I can't really see. I think it might be baby first. He looks like a. It looks like it's the small one. From where we are, I'm not too sure. But there they are, the four monkeys, and look at the crowd going wild. Well, that's Sydney's welcome to the monkeys. And in fact, one or two kids tried to jump over the barrier a moment or two ago, just as they, I think they got a bit carried away, but the police very smartly carried them back again. But it was all very pleasant, I think, and very happy. And as I've said before, they've been a very good crowd of youngsters here this morning. They behaved themselves remarkably well. And they just bubbled over for a moment or two when the monkeys first came down the steps of the aircraft. One or two tried to jump over the barriers, but there wasn't really any great problem here. But there is a surprisingly good crowd of them. We're going to try, if we can, to have a word with them, if it's possible. I don't know whether the windows of the car will be up or not, but Barry Friedman's standing here with a Channel 7 thing, and um, we'll try and grab a word or two with them, either Barry or I, if we possibly can. Well, we've just been told, because uh, we have some spies over there, that they're just about to get into the car, and the car will start on its cavalcade round the front. It may well be, of course, that once that happens, the cheers and the screams will be such that you won't be able to hear us. I'm sure that won't worry you too much. But let's take a look across towards the cars. The doors are open, and all we're waiting for are the monkeys. Barry, what sort of tour do you predict they're going to have here? I think they're going to have a pretty big tour, Jeff. They'll, they'll have a lot of success. They've got a tremendous following, and after all, this is their first time in Australia. I think they're better known to the fans than the Beatles were to their fans by medium of the television series. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, if we can't manage to talk to them at this stage, and I don't know whether we will, we, I don't think we dare stop the car, otherwise we might cause pandemonium here. But uh, Barry and I will be going along to the press conference. Well, there's enthusiasm for you. <laughs> And the monkeys are in the, I think it's the third car, or probably the fourth car, is it? The third car back. And just in case. Davey, welcome to Australia. Thank you very I'm much. the Channel 7 Network, we'll be seeing you later with the press conference. How was the trip? Oh, it was quick. It was just, we just wanted to get here and so it went fast. We just How was the reception, boy? Oh, it's fantastic. Good. Thank you very much. Well, See you later. Good. Davey Jones. Let's see if any of the other boys are going to come down here and say hi to the people. I think maybe over there they are. You can hear the excitement here. You can hear the excitement. That was very unexpected. Caused a little bit of chaos. I think it might have been unscheduled. I too. think it was, just a wee touch. I think it caused a wee bit of pandemonium among all the officials, but I dare say the boys are, are laughing their heads off at this. I only saw one girl hop the, hop the well. Did you see any more? Oh, there were two or three, as a matter of fact, Barry, yes. Well, there they go. Now, who was it over here that, who was it over here that had to say hello? Did you meet one of the monkeys? Yeah! yeah. Did you? I was so excited, I had to cry. Really? Yes, I can't believe it. You can't? No. <laughs> Which one was it? Davy, Davy, I can't, I don't know what I'm saying. Was Davy your favorite? Yes! Yes? Yeah? Yes. Well, if he wasn't, there's more he must be now. Did you meet Davy too? Yes. You didn't meet David? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, that's when he comes back, eh? And you met David, did you? Yes. Is he your favorite? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm very glad at least you managed to meet him. I don't think he was meant to do that, was he? No. What are you going to tell the girls at school now? Oh, he thought monkeys. That's right, you did, didn't you? Well, there we are. I'm right to the only member of the group who is not married. You have any attitudes towards marriage? I mean, Mickey got married what, what last year. Well, Peter's not married, are you? Well, we'll face like that. All right, well, I'll come to you and then we'll go to the next. All right, two to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like your tie much. What do you think of that? <laughs> 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 well, that's where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's and where he wants to be. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get married while I'm here in Australia. I don't know. I haven't. How long have you been here in Australia? That long? Two weeks. <laughs> you like these quick marriages? Well, I don't know. I've never been married yet. That's what I said. If you'd have listened, you would have heard that I said I've never been married before. Yeah, but you don't like it. You don't like the idea of quick marriage. Uh, I don't know. I might get married when I'm here. I, don't, I haven't found the right girl yet. Is that the way you say it? Yeah. I haven't found the right girl yet. And when I do, I'll probably get married. Baby, let's talk about marriage with Lynn Randell. What do you think about this? <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Lynn and I are very close friends. <laughs> oh, we're on a tour together. We think she's nice. She laughs about it too. We, you know, we talk about it. Peter, it's uh, Lynn Randall. Yes, Lynn Randall. Yeah, yeah. Lynn Randall. Peter, it's uh, two years and four days since the Monkey Show first premiere. Now, you guys are really? Two years and four days. Now, listen, you had a very, very... First premiere here, you mean, or, or uh, in America? Oh, yes? Yeah. No, 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 eight years. 
you had a most unusual audition. It wasn't the usual type of audition that uh, given the guys who are seeking jobs in television. Tell us a little bit about the crazy audition you had. It was very much like the usual audition. We went in, we sat down, the man asked us what we were like, you know. He, we sat, I sat down in Bert Schneider's office, and he said, hello. And I said, more or less the same. And uh, it, you know, fizzled out from there. I don't know. Why are you wearing a Z? It's not a Z, it's a two. <laughs> well, uh, it's the baggage tag. You know, I had a spare one. <laughs> That's we our numbers. We each get numbers. Mickey's number one, which I'm all the numbers. Number. <laughs> 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 I'm excited at last. Thank you. Oh, dear. I think it'll answer a lot of questions about this whole thing. Um, the Beatles are a phenomenon, and, and it, it gets down to the, the, the Beatle monkey comparison thing. The Beatles are a phenomenon because of sort of the thing that the Beatles do in there is like a personal charisma and whatever else that, that goes on. We are not so blind as to be unaware of the fact that the power of television has done much of this, and we can only be humbled by it. And that's why those fans, we never got past the stage of just being fans ourselves. And that's why they're as important to us as when we first started. Uh, we can never be removed, we can never be uh, 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 gods or whatever else that you have them. We have, we have to do that because uh, we're, we're brothers under the skin into the same thing. It wasn't two years ago before we were standing at the airport screaming for somebody else. Mike, you seem that the whole group as a whole, and McKean and particularly David, and of course Peter, you seem that in whatever you do, you seem to have this tremendous love of children. Is this a true assumption? Well, I said before, you know, the kids, those are the kids that, you know, put us where we are. Oh, you know, I don't know if we know where we are right now, but, uh, well, you know, those, those are the kids that I perform for. That's, I can't wait to get out on the stage and see a, um, uh, 12 and 8, a 14 year old girl screaming, not because she, I don't think, you know, because she's screaming for me, great, I'm glad she's screaming. They're just letting something out. She wasn't, you know, she was overcome, of course, by seeing us all here, which was natural. She wouldn't be here in the first place. But she's not only screaming, she's, 
suddenly I, I, was, I was in Nashville a couple of days ago doing some promotion work and this lady that was in the car with a young girl that was a contest when I was taking her out to dinner and we went to this, uh, to this um, dance and all the kids went crazy and she said to the girl in the car now if you ever do that I will take you home and really give it to you and I said, you know, she said, well, how do you feel about when these kids are screaming for you? And so I said, um, the reason that, that they're there and, the, and they're screaming for us is because at home they've got nothing, you know, this, they've got nothing to scream. They, they come and let it out and they scream and um, they get overexcited or whatever. They really, they're not only screaming because we're the monkeys and, you know, they're just letting, letting something out. And that's what the kid was doing right there. And it, it gives you a good feeling. Well, they're on time, and 12.15, they'll be here. Oh, beauty. <laughs> what? Michael. Pardon? Michael. Michael? Yeah. He's the oldest one, isn't he? Yes, he's married, but what difference does that make? <laughs> well, here's the plane. And uh, here it is now, pulling in at Essendon with the monkeys aboard. Look very tired this morning as they stepped off their Qantas aircraft and uh, went through customs but they were quite bright and happy at the press conference some hour or so later tiring business i guess tripping around the world and being stars and here's the plane right in front of us now we shall endeavor to just have a word to them as they step off and before they get into their car mike mickey Peter, and perhaps the most popular, with the younger girls anyway, and that's Davy. Radio station representatives who have been travelling around with the monkeys. And now here they are. Here's Davy, leading them out of the aircraft, followed by Mike. Davy with his camera. Then Mickey, and Peter with his rather full beard. Davy and... Uh, Mike wearing sort of Indian suede jackets. Mickey with a high collared shirt on and Mike Peter rather with the beads around his neck with a label on his arm which has the name Talk on it. I guess that's in case he gets lost. Davy's wearing black patent leather shoes, shiny. And uh, there's Mike too. Welcome to Melbourne, uh, Davey. Welcome. Welcome very much. Got anything to Good say to, to the fans down here? I'd just like to say we can't wait to get on that stage. Good. Welcome. What do I think of the crowd? Great questions, both of them. And so they squeeze into the car. Can't wait to get on the stage is Davey's reaction. As I said before, not wasting any time at all. They're ready to go. Now, they're in the car which uh, doesn't have the hood which comes down. Fans going wild now. The monkeys have made it to Melbourne. And this, I guess, will be the height of monkey mania for Melbourne fans. Not getting much of a picture of them. There's one girl has managed to break through, a high school girl, looks like, and she managed to make it to the car, and now she's off again, and she's got in the car, she's in the window, half in the window, and uh, now she's been caught. There's another girl on the other side, and they're going to drive right past uh, the screaming, waving fans, it seems. It's Davey with his camera, I don't know whether he's taking pictures of the fans for posterity, but he hasn't uh, let it go since he arrived. The car behind the monkeys, I uh, don't know whether they're, who exactly is in there, perhaps Mike's wife and Mickey's wife, I didn't recognise Samantha just, uh, thought I would but they're in the car following the monkeys. And then in the car behind them again, uh, some more members of the entourage and pop promoters. And around they go, doing the full circle 
of the fans. I must say they've been really very good. Uh, only two girls, I think, managed to break through. Remember on previous occasions, it's been almost an impossible task keeping anyone behind the barriers, but they've been very good today and well behaved. Perhaps they've taken the lead from their counterparts in Sydney, who this morning were paid a compliment by airport officials who said that uh, they were very well behaved indeed. Perhaps it was after waiting there all night and they're a little tired. So there they go, they've zoomed off now, past the fans, past the end of the row and row, long rows of children who are running around to try and get another view of them, and they've gone. And we believe from here they will be going uh, straight to their accommodation, which is the President Motel in Queen's Road. And uh, no doubt they'll be taking a well-earned rest.